Jason Day was the best golfer on the planet, winning eight times, including a major in 15 months. But since then, Jason has had no wins in four years. The world fell out beneath Jason Day in a four-year nightmare. Life sometimes is unfair, and Jason Day is the perfect living example of this. What caused his downfall? What could have possibly happened? When would this nightmare end? Keep watching till the end as you're about to find out. Without much ado, let's get started. Jason Day is an Australian professional golfer and a member of the PGA Tour. He was the 2015 PGA Championship winner. During his booming career, he had 17 professional wins, including 13 PGA Tour wins and three European Tours and one Corn Ferry Tour win. At 34 years old, he should be at the prime of his career. Unfortunately, this is where Jason's nightmare began, which led to four years of no victories. In the Bunker Golf Podcast, Jason recently opened up about his struggles and said, I can't keep playing the way I am. Let's start with Jason's childhood days and humble beginnings. Nicknamed JD, Jason Day was born on November 12th in 1987 in Australia to his father Alvin, an Irish Australian who tended cattle and fiddled with irrigation and fences. His mother, Denning, a Filipino who worked as a pollster, migrated to Australia in the early 1980s. The Days raised Jason and his sisters Kim and Yana Day on a farm in Bow Desert, a rural town raising cattle and sheep. They started from humble beginnings as his family was poor. Therefore, he and his family would often go down to the landfill to search for the stuff that they didn't have around their house. It was there that his father found an old tree with a golf club and gave it to Jason, who was only three years old. He managed to hit a tennis ball with it and his father said, This guy's going to be a champion one day. He was the only one in his family that played golf, and when Jason was about six years old, his father took him to Bow Desert Golf Club in Queensland and registered him as a junior member. His father brought him and the future tour pro would play a handful of holes per day till it got dark every day after school. Two years later, when Jason was eight years old, the days moved to Rockhampton, and during this time, Jason started to win matches in nearby districts. Jason lost his motivation at 11 years. When Jason was 11 years old in 1999, his dad died of stomach cancer, caused by excessive alcohol use. Alvin was a violent alcoholic and used to beat Jason whenever he played bad golf. Jason recalled an incident when he shot a poor score and his dad said, you're going to get it raw in the parking lot. So in fear, he got into the car and they drove out of the club. His dad parked on the side of the road and started wailing him with both hands closed fist punching which gave him bruises all over his face. It's a scenario he doesn't like to remember because it reminds him of the violent part of his dad. But then it is what it is. Those times never killed him, but made him stronger. Jason's dad, Alvin, requested that upon his death, his ashes should be spread at Augusta National, the site of the Masters. The pro golfer had planned to honor his father's death wishes, but the club didn't approve unless Day was ranked world number one. Alvin's passing caused Jason to get in trouble drinking, smoking, and getting into fights. His motivation for golf was gone, and now he was nothing but pain. His mom didn't want to see him waste his talent, so she took matters into her own hands and sent Jason to the Coralbin International Boarding School. She needed to borrow money from relatives to pay for the school's expenses. The reason she chose this school was that it has a golf team, and she knew her son Jason still had a thing for the game, but faced multiple distractions. This is where his life changed for the better. At the request of his trainer and childhood coach, Colin Swatton, Jason later moved to Hills International College, where they had a golf academy. Jason's mother, Denning, went as far as selling the family home so Jason could go to the golf academy. Here, Jason borrowed a textbook about Tiger Woods from one of his friends, and after reading the entire book, Jason decided to practice by himself three times a day, in the morning, noon, and evening. Jason was committed to becoming a better golfer each day. The strategy paid off as the pro golfer had amassed over $23 million in earnings on the course. He used the Tiger Woods book reports to improve his golfing skills. At age 13, Jason made his first big victory in golf at the 2000 Australian Masters Junior event on the Gold Coast, where he won the scores of 87, 78, and 76. Later, he also won at the Australian Master of the Amateurs Tournament in 2004 
and the American Boys 15 to 17 year old division at the Callaway World Junior Championship. Jason won the Australian Junior Order of Merit twice and finished seventh at the Queensland Open. And he also won the green jacket at the NEC Master of the Amateurs and was also an associate of the Golf Australian National Squad. In 2007, Jason became the youngest man to win a PGA Tour at the legendary Financial Group Classic. And in 2010, Day was the youngest Australian to win the PGA Tour. He was on top of the world. And in the years that followed, Jason dominated the world of golf. In 2015 and 2016, he won eight times, including a major in 15 months. But then the nightmare struck. So what happened to Jason in his four-year nightmare? Every professional player goes through several ups and downs throughout their career, and on the PGA Tour, it's almost impossible to keep a consistent status of excellence for even a few seasons. Jason was among the finest and most consistent players on the PGA Tour. Only a few years ago, here in the number one position in the official World Golf Ranking, but it all went downhill from there due to injuries that kept him away for a while. Jason Day also suffered from benign positional vertigo and collapsed from dizziness during the 2015 U.S. Open. Day laid nearly motionless for several minutes and remained flat on his back while a medical team tended to him. Still a bit shaky, he finally got up on his feet with their help and finished off his round. For Jason, the previous three seasons have been strenuous. His repeated back injuries kept tormenting him and kept him back from doing well on the PGA Tour. Jason developed a reputation for withdrawing from tournaments due to his back injury. It even made him consider the idea of retirement, and Jason revealed how close he was to quitting golf as his body repeatedly betrayed him. Jason said the following about it. I'm like to the point where I can't keep playing golf the way that I am because it hurts my body, he said, and when it hurts my body, then it hurts my mind or the mental side of things. It's just too much. However, the world's former number one golfer now seems to be encountering a small side of his spark by entering into the final rounds at the Farmers Insurance Open 2022. Nonetheless, Jason feels more content with the way things are progressing in his swings and health-wise. He confessed that the last few years were indeed stressful in his career. He further said that being at the top of the golfing world and suddenly falling was very hard. Though he had some excellent finishes in those three years, he admitted that he felt happy and content for not entirely walking away from the game. He was glad for giving another chance to himself, and he is now back stronger with the ultimate goal of trying to put himself on the winning board. Now he has adopted a slower, smoother golf swing as a measure to eradicate his back issues and finds himself in the winner's circle again. We agree that Jason's new strategy has started to pay off well. Jason said that he is not looking at himself as a comeback. He is taking it one step at a time and only working on what he can do to make things better. He also confessed that he is super obsessed with his golf swing, which may be either a good or a bad thing. He is always in constant touch with his trainer daily and constantly improving his level of golfing. After Jason dropped to the 123rd position in the official world golf ranking, it looked like the Australian would never recover. But after top three finishes at the Farmers Insurance Open, Jason participated in the Pebble Beach Pro-Am, where Jason fired three straight under-par rounds to begin the tournament and enter the final rounds. Indeed, old habits begin to hit, in particularly on the par 3 16th, when he tightened up and came up well shot of the green. On the 14th hole, he delivered a shot as he hauled out from 107 meters out, while on 15, he sank a clutch six-footer to hold a share of the lead. After the shot, former pro and pundit, Frank Noblio said, that was confusion. The old swing is finding the new swing. Then tragedy struck again in March 2022, when his mother passed away after a five-year battle against lung cancer. Jason Day said on an Instagram post that she died peacefully Wednesday night. His sisters and one of their children were able to leave Australia for Columbus to be with her as her condition worsened. Jason struggled to cope with the loss of his mother and processed the loss for a long time. At the Innisbrook Resort's Copperhead course, after his opening round of one under 70, he said, If I was at home, I'd struggle even more than I am right now. I'm super excited to be out here with everyone, and I appreciate the love from y'all. Our condolences, Jason. Let's hope Jason's nightmare is over. Jason has discovered some of his old tricks along with his new golf swing strategy, so don't be surprised if his name tops the leaderboard again. So what do you think about Jason Day? Do you think the golfing star will be able to make a comeback? 
Will he regain his number one position in the golfing world? Let us know in the comments below.